water, the precious gift of nature, an indispensable part of life on this planet. In the form of sea, river and various water bodies, it covers three-fourths part of this planet. Out of this, only one percent is potable or drinking water. In various parts of the world, even this meager amount of drinking water is partially contaminated by arsenic. Here's the global picture. Coming to India, arsenic in the Indian subcontinent originates in the Himalayas as a compound of iron, arsenic and sulfur. Then, through erosion of rocks and an oxidation process, it gets carried over to the deltaic plains and gets deposited there in its immobile plus five state. In case of West Bengal, in certain areas, water contains arsenic up to 3.2 milligrams per liter, whereas the maximum limit set by World Health Organization is only 0.01 milligrams per liter. Around 10 million people are drinking arsenic contaminated water every day. As a result, more than 3 million people are suffering from arsenic related diseases. In West Bengal, while many areas are contaminated by arsenic, our focal areas are Nodia and North 24 Borgonas. The Ramakrishna Vivekananda Mission Barakpur, which has so long actively worked on social issues, has now taken a lead role in solving the arsenic problem in these two districts. With active financial assistance from the World Bank, the mission has launched a project named Subterranean Arsenic Removal Experiment to Delivery. Family to be a charger, a arsenic or was a corner. guy, a arsenic dagachi. Are you gonna take a poetry John Maragachi? He has sonic. Tade, family to Amono Ache, Akuna Tade by the charger guy, Eram Dag, Evang Tara, Oidon, Asanic Rogue Book. Abraham the Polybody Asinicace, Amar Bashu Dr. Maragice, Akakan Duto Tinte, Asinica Maragice Tinte. We conceived the idea of groundwater treatment using simple aeration method in about 2004 and we formed a consortium of European and Indian institutions and we chose a place which is 25 kilometers north of the Calcutta airport called Kashimpur and the site was provided to the teapot consortium by Ramakrishna Vivekananda mission and in 2005 we started our first trial plant and we ran the plant for three years with the assistance of RKVM and the data we collected helped us in setting up six further plants for supplying water to the communities with the help of the World Bank. After successful running of the teapot project at Kashimpur for three years, Dr. Bhaskar Shengupto, the coordinator of the Indian and European Union consortium associated with that project, transferred the technology to Ramakrishna Vivekananda Mission, Barakpur. The mechanism of this process is simple. The very reason why we get arsenic in groundwater is the change in agricultural and irrigation practices in rural Bengal, where the excess use of fertilizer uh, has caused an excessive amount of bacterial activity in the aquifer zone, and the bacteria releases arsenic from the minerals which are present in the subsurface and that arsenic becomes waterborne and eventually when people draw water from the underground and consume the water they are contaminated with arsenic uh, poisoning and the mechanism by which it happens are primarily bacterial and in our process what we are trying to do is reverse that mechanism by simply aerating that water and returning a part of it back to the same depth of the ground in this process, essentially three things happen. One is we satisfy the oxygen requirement of the bacteria from external sources. Number two, we precipitate iron, manganese, and arsenic onto the soil. And the third important process is we prevent the further dissolution of arsenic from the arsenic-bearing minerals. 
collectively the simple process of recharging groundwater with aerated water prevents the dissolution of arsenic and also ensures that the arsenic precipitates on the subsurface soil and the water becomes free from available arsenic. Under this project, six plants are performing right now. As in other plants, the Boshirhat plant is working with a one-well system. This is the pipeline by which water is pumped up from the aquifer 120 to 180 feet deep by a submersible pump. It pumps 8,000 litres of water every hour. The pipe goes inside through this point. There is a valve and a meter inside the plant to control and measure the quantity of water pumped up. Again, it goes outside from this point. It reaches the tanks around 15 feet above the ground and enters these two tanks. One, a recharge tank, and the other, a delivery tank. The air pipes at the top are covered with fine mesh nets to prevent ingress of insects. Inside the tanks are shower heads similar to the ones used in bathrooms. Once the pump is started, entry of water to the tank is channeled through these shower heads to bring the water in active contact with air. Through this simple yet novel process, water is oxygenated without using any chemical. The two tanks are interconnected through a valve whereby when water is distributed from one tank to the people, the other can send it back to the aquifer. After water is oxygenated, it is recharged back to the aquifer through this pipe, where it releases the oxygenated water, boosting the growth and activity of aerobic bacteria. Arsenic from plus 3 state is thus converted to the plus 5 state, when it is no more injurious to living beings. Nature's cycle is complete. For delivery system, another pipe comes down from the delivery tank, enters the plant where it is connected to a valve and a meter. The operator can control the water to be delivered to the people by this valve. All he has to do is to press the green switch of the starter box to activate the submersible pump. The operator has to operate three valves only to control the withdrawal, recharging and delivery of water. The red switch shuts the plant off.